it's time for all of us We are on one of the high points of this particular program. It's time for us to take the remarks of the acting governor of your state. His Excellency, we do two things. His Excellency, the acting governor, will make his remarks. And immediately after, it will be presenting the national flag afresh to the family of the designer of the flag. And why it will be doing that, handing over the national flag to the family, we will request every one of us to stand up as the national anthem we accompany that particular aspect of the program. Join me as we welcome His Excellency, the Acting Governor of Oyo State, Barista Adebayo Lawal. Can we rise up on our feet as we give him the honor due to him as the Acting Governor of this very important Pace a certain state. His Excellency is coming and is being accompanied by member of his entourage to this particular important occasion. His Excellency is here and is ready to do his remarks. May we be seated, please. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let me recognize um, all former members of the National Assembly. Um, and I use Honorable um, Babatunde Oduyoye as a point of recognition and also former members of Oyo State House of Assembly and current uh, members that are serving. Um, let me use also uh, both uh, Honorable Ibrahim Bolomakwe and Fatai Adetunji Salam to as point of uh, recognition. The Honorable Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Dr. Wasiu, the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Barista Abiodun Aikomo, and of course uh, the former Attorney General of your State, I saw him a while ago, Bayo Ujo, um, I recognize you as well. Uh, the Honorable Commissioner for Information and Civil Orientation, Prince Dutton Yelade, uh, Commissioner for Women Affairs and uh, Social Inclusion. Honorable Tony Balogun, you are duly recognized, and uh, Honorable Commissioner for Youth and Sports, Honorable Wasilat Nadegoke. The Chairman Advisory Council of for your state, Chief Bolaji Ayorinde, OFR SAN, you are duly recognized, another political functionaries that are present here this um, morning. All of you are duly recognized. The General Overseer Gospel Faith Mission in International GoFami Pastor Dr. Elijah Odedele <laughs> Abino uh, Today ably represented by General Secretary Pastor Solomon Olufemi and all other ministers of God, 
that are here present, you are dearly recognized. Um, let me particularly and specially recognize the family of late Pa Michael Taiwo Akinkumi, um, whom we are celebrating his uh, passing this morning. Um, I thank God for your lives as um, descendants of late Pa Akinkumi. Uh, no recognition can be better than this one. Um, your dad, your granddad, your great granddad in Park in Kumi is well recognized by the Nigerian state. So congratulations to you. Now, I have seen um, our students and the young ones that are coming behind uh, from various schools. You are especially and particularly recognized, and then uh, uh, what is so symbolic to younger ones that um, shows clearly that anybody, anywhere, if you are in Nigeria, you can do better than what we are doing this morning. So I congratulate you students, and I know that you take a, a big lesson from this um, recognition that we are according our departed. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, well, I will um, extemporize, because I haven't got any special speech to make, but let me say clearly, that Pa Akikumi has contributed immensely to the Nigerian nation. This service is not a limited one, it's not encapsulated, it's not restricted, it's a national service, and we must take it as such. Because when the Union Jack was uh, flown down, Nigerian flag, national flag, was raised up. 1st of October, 1960. And it has remained up till this day. So, Pa Akekumi was a pride not only to to us, as we sit down here, but to Nigeria, to the world at large, because this national flag is flown wherever Nigeria has embassy across the world. So it is an enduring legacy that at the age of 23, Pa Kikumi submitted his design, which was adopted by the Nigerian nation. And intuitively, this flag is telling a lot of story that since 1st of October 1960, Nigeria has not had a reason to change this flag. It has remained enduring legacy for our nation uh, and it's I believe going to be so for several years, several decades for as long as Nigeria remains united and this flag, flag designed by Pa Akinkumi is telling a story to Nigeria that we must remain united Now, I do not know what inspired Pa Kikumi in designing the flag, green, white, and green. Green embodies vast 
natural resources that we have in Nigeria. And I know that anywhere we go in Nigeria, our Greek is the basis, is the main um, business of Nigerians. In fact, 80% of Nigerians are in agrarian agriculture, subsistence agriculture. And we are transiting from uh, subsistence ag agriculture to mechanization. So that's a vision. It doesn't stop at like that. Even the resources that we have underground that we call uh, solid mineral resources are uh, the green part of the national uh, flag really captures those resources that we have underground. And if you know today, it is important to realize that even some decades back, when Nigeria attempted to rely solely on a monolithic solid mineral, it is done in on us clearly that we have to go back to the land. We have to go back to agriculture. And throughout Nigeria today, the uh, clamor is for our people to go back to land so that we can feed ourselves and even make a substantial revenue from a Greek and solid mineral. So we have to thank Parking Kumi for that vision for that intuition that he saw, he, is, he was like uh, Nitrodemus who saw the future. He saw what was coming and he designed that green should be part of national flag that we are flying across the globe. Then we come to white. It symbolizes peace, tranquility, calmness. Today, nothing can be more opposite. Nothing can be more relevant in Nigeria that, than ensuring peace and harmony among diverse uh, tribes that we have in Nigeria across all the states of Nigeria. And I venture to say that without peace, there cannot be progress. There cannot be development. So we have to thank Kepa Kinkumi that he has envisioned that we need solid economy and we need peace to drive that solid economy. It is in this light that we in Oyo State, under his able leadership, His Excellency Engineer Olusei Makinde, we take pride that Paake Kumi is from us in Oyo State here. And as the Chairman Advisory Council had indicated, when this program was brought to uh, the attention of His Excellency, the Governor for your state, he said, okay, Chairman Advisory Council, let me know how much we need to contribute to give a befitting barrier to Pa Akinkumi. We thank God that had, that has been done. Now, I want to throw a challenge to the federal government of Nigeria. This um, burial ceremony should not only be left in the hands of the family, in the hands of your state government, it is indeed the project that the federal government should uh, carry. And perhaps the director National Orientation is here. He would uh, convey our message to the federal government. It's never late. We have a lot to do in immortalizing Pa Kikumi. And 
the federal government should come handy in ensuring that the legacy left behind by uh, uh, Park Nkumi is duly recognized and immortalized. Let me conclude by thanking all of you that are here this uh, morning. Um, the executive of your state government, the chairman advisory council, uh, students, our clergymen and family members who have come to honor Pa Akinkumi, who departed in September uh, last year. Thank you all for coming. And I want to uh, wish and pray that the soul of Pa Akinkumi uh, rest in perfect peace. Thank you very much, and God bless you.